It's springtime. Flowers are growing, birds start to sing and nests are being built. And I know you feel that energy as well. And I think it might be the reason why you installed that good old Tinder app last week and you went on that exciting day. All things considered, it was fun. But now the pain in your belly and the pain while urinating and especially the discharge from your genitals are worrisome. But the real fun started when your date called. She blurred out a few words, an awkward pause and then the message kicked in. I have gonorrhea, I have symptoms and you should get tested as well because you might be infected. Well, I hope that's not your story, but this video will be helpful for all of you. Those infected and those wanting to prevent an infection, we will cover what gonorrhea is, when to contact your doctor and how a treatment plan could look like. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. A quick introduction, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the internet and it's my mission to medically educate you, my viewer, so you can make healthier decisions. But remember, I'm just a random doctor from the internet, I know nothing about your personal situation, so I can give personal medical advice. Always contact your doctor if you have personal questions and now let's get started. So let's start at the beginning. Conorrhea is a sexual transmitted infection caused by the bacteria Neisseria conorrhea and it can infect both men and women and usually inhabits your cervix if you are a woman, your rectum, your throat and the urethra which is the tube through which you pee. This explains why gonorrhea can be transmitted through all forms of sexual intercourse, anal, oral and vaginal and it does so very effectively. In fact, if a man has sexual intercourse with an infected woman who has gonorrhea, he has a 20% chance to become infected himself. And for a woman, this chance is even higher. It's about 60 to 80%. That's why it's oh so important that you practice safe sex. In addition, a mother can also spread gonorrhea to a newborn baby during childbirth, which can be very dangerous for the baby. And here it is also important to mention that gonorrhea does not live long outside of your body, typically only a few minutes to maximally up to a few hours. That's why it can't really be transmitted through ordinary daily objects. After becoming infected, within 2 to 14 days people might develop symptoms. However, 10 to 15% of all men and 80% of all women infected do not develop any symptoms. Men that do develop symptoms may experience a pain or burning sensation while peeing. A pus like discharge from the tip of their penis, swelling and pain of the testicles and or an inflammation of the epididymis. An infected woman may experience, again, pain and burning while peeing, a vaginal discharge, vaginal bleeding between your periods, pelvic pain and an inflammation of your pelvic organs. And besides symptoms of your genitals, gonorrhea might also infect your rectum, causing an itchy rectum, a bloody stool or a pus like discharge from your rectum might affect your eyes, causing pain in one or both eyes, a discharge from your eyes and sensitivity to bright lights, might affect your throat, causing a sore throat and swollen lymph nodes in the neck, and it might affect joints, causing an inflammation of one or more joints, which leads to swelling, redness, warmth and extreme pain during movements. Now you might wonder, gonorrhea, that doesn't sound so nice, but what are the chances that I would get it? Well, this totally depends on the part of the world you're living in. For example, a recent study of the World Health Organization in 2016 found that about 0.9% of all women worldwide are infected and for men this is about 0.7%. We're talking 30 million people worldwide. By region, the prevalence can be much higher. For example, in Africa it's about 1.9% and the lowest infection rates are in Europe, about 0.3%. So in a nutshell, it's not that rare and it can cause serious symptoms and complications. Therefore, you should know when to contact your doctor so you can find out an infection early and prevent those complications. Did you have unprotected sexual intercourse these last weeks to months? Did you have multiple bad partners? Do you experience any of the previously mentioned symptoms? Do you have another STI? Then please contact your doctor. He or she might do this by asking about your current symptoms your medical history and the medication you're using. Your doctor afterwards might do a physical examination, some urine and blood tests and in women a vaginal swab test. Your doctor needs all this information to determine if you indeed have a gonorrhea infection or maybe something else and then can help you with the correct treatment. If necessary, your doctor could also refer you to a urologist which is a medical specialist. All this talk about the clap gonorrhea makes me think about something that's also worth clapping. 
Well, that's you, a loyal subscriber who always likes and subscribes on the videos. All jokes aside, these videos cost me a lot of time to make and I hope they are useful for you. If they are, please leave a like to the video. This will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing. I'm posting weekly medical videos to help you, my viewer. So if you're finding them useful, please click the like and subscribe button. And let's continue with some useful tips and tricks. Limit your number of sexual partners and first discuss past partners, STIs and drug use. Avoid all sexual activities while experiencing any symptoms of an STI. Be aware of your own and your partner's body. Look for signs of sores, blisters, rashes or discharge and visit your doctor if you find any of these. Use a condom every time you have vaginal, oral or anal intercourse, especially with a new partner. Avoid drinking alcohol and using drugs as this can increase the chance you will participate in high-risk sex and lastly, have regular tests and checkups for STIs. Now, if unfortunately all these tips have failed you and you visited your doctor, he did some diagnostics and it turned out you are infected with gonorrhea, then please start your treatment as soon as possible. And in adults, gonorrhea can usually be treated with antibiotics, like ceftriaxone, which will be given as an injection combined with oral azithromycin, or an injection with gantamycin and oral azithromycin. And here it is also important to mention that your partner should get treated as well, even if your partner is asymptomatic, as it can be the case that your partner still has an infection with gonorrhea, but just doesn't have any symptoms for now. Furthermore, it's important to withhold having sexual intercourse until all your symptoms of gonorrhea have disappeared for at least two days. And lastly, as repeat infections are very common, it's important you get another STI checkup, another STI test, after three months after you had your treatment. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you now know what gonorrhea is, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer each and every one of them. For those of you that want to keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description as educated people make healthier decisions. If you did learn something, please consider to like this video. This will help out the channel tremendously. And if you don't want to miss any awesome medical videos ever again, then also consider subscribing. I'm posting weekly medical videos and by subscribing, you can help me to reach my milestone 100,000 subscribers, which we will reach next month. That's awesome. I also have an Instagram account. You can find out the content there at How to Medicate. And I want to give a special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Sebastian, who's an investor tea supporter. And we'll see you all next week with a new video. Bye bye.